I want a show of hands. How many of you were surprised about the outcome, Regine? Okay, almost all of you, you were surprised. I cried. I was... Why I, would you cry? Because I was so sure that Mitt Romney would win. I thought his ticket was perfect, and I thought his message was, was resonating with people that they were prepared to vote for him. The polls, at least for the channels that some of us in this room were probably watching, the polls seemed to overwhelmingly um, suggest that he was probably going to win. This election is really about saving America. And I get real emotional about that because I look at what we've done with this country and I see that it's going totally in the wrong direction. And I looked at Romney and Ryan and I thought, yes, we have somebody who's accomplished in business, somebody who's going to get out there and really make a difference. And Ryan, with his, his financial background and the budget and all that, I thought, man. It was not a good day for the Republican Party. What are you willing to change? I think, I think the, the platform needs to be reevaluated. The, the thing that keeps, he keeps bringing back up is where, where are the blacks and where are the Latinos? And, and the women. And the women. And, and the young right. voters. And you're right. The danger is that it's getting to a bidding war. I think it's more important well, to stand by our ideals and our views and to shadow those. And if they have currency, we'll get them. And if they don't, then perhaps we should do some. Our, our message is just not inclusive. It just isn't. It's suburban. It's white suburbia. That, that suggests that you that you you know that, that you have to package your values in different ways, and then that takes away from them as sort of universal values. And and I think that you know we're talking about the candidates. Okay, that's great, but that's the end of the process. You know, you have to get out there and sell the message, sell the values, sell the principles. Because if we believe they're universal, if we believe they should appeal to everybody, then we don't have to package them for girls and boys and, you know, people who are purple with green spots. What does this election tell you about America? It seems like we're more divided now than we were even four years, eight years. I mean, even during the election of 2000, with all of that, we're more divided now than we were then. Where America is going is the actual value divide of the country, more so than even demographics. Okay. You have hate this, these are hard words, but I believe you have a socialist agenda. There's people here that believe I don't have to work. How many of you think that the Obama administration represents socialism here in America? Raise your hands. Virtually every one of you regards this administration as being socialist. Why? Well, when you want to take money from the people that are creating the jobs and making money and giving it back to people that aren't working, that's socialism. I don't like the term socialism. It's a very strong term. I think socialism itself is very different than what we are. I think what we have now and under the Obama administration, a lot of other administrations, is a lot of socialist elements, but I don't like the term socialism. It further increases the divide and we're doing nothing to help bring things back together when we use those but terms. Unfortunately, but unfortunately, if that's not socialist, I don't don't know how else you would describe an element of our government taking over one sixth, one -sixth of our, it, it will take over more than just our health care, it will take over us as, as people. Yep. It's it's, and the Democrats have done a great job, again, of packaging and using the terminology. Uh, Bill Clinton went around and his, the speech he was giving was, we're all in this together or you're out on your own. And that doesn't sound like socialism or individual liberty. That sounds, who would, who can disagree with, gee, we're all in this together, that's wonderful. So, but that's what it is. How many of you believe that your freedoms will be curtailed over the next four years because Barack Obama was elected? Absolutely. Come on, Absolutely. that's a very strong thing to say. You think you're gonna lose some of your freedoms? Looking beyond my nose, I'm concerned for my 20-something children who are, it, it, I'm not likely to feel the full effect of it in four to six or eight or 10 years, but. 15, 20 years, the mindset that's changing in this country is very problematic. 